Hello and welcome to another video, this time on Question Free 2021 Mechanics Paper and it happens to be Wonky Moments, one of my favourites. Okay, let's get on with it. So the beam's uh, AB and it's linked to A and it's also uniform. So we're going to have the mass, or the weight should I say, coming right down the middle. So that's going to be MG. And we're going to have a little triangle like this. We're going to need that anyway once we start resolving parallel and perpendicular to the beam, if we do that, which we almost always do. Um, not really many other forces going on in this one. I mean, the wall is smooth, so I guess we've just got an RB coming out of the wall. And there's friction. The floor is rough. It says the floor is rough. And so there'll be an RA there. And there'll be, I guess it's got to be going in this direction, the frictional. It's getting a bit confusing what I'm using where. Let's call that F and this one MG. Okay, and that's pretty much the whole diagram done. Now, as you know, with all of these questions, or I hope you realise this now, essentially the secret is uppies equal downies, lefties equal righties, and take moments. You're always going to do that at some point in the question. But let's just read the question first. We're going to show that mu is greater than or equal to a half cot theta. Now, one thing I do like to point out is that greater than or equal to, I bet it comes from this fact. F max is mu r, yeah? But that's because F is less than or equal to mu r. You see, what we're saying here is the maximum value of a friction, which occurs when it's in limiting equilibrium, will equal mu times r. But friction actually doesn't need to be at its maximum if the situation doesn't uh, require it. I'll take a really silly example. If you're pushing with one newton there, yeah, and, uh, you know, the weight is like uh, g, let's say it's one kilogram, so r is g well f max is mu r and so let's say your mu was at 0 0.9 well you know f max would be 0 0.9 times by g yeah which is like i don't know it's 9.8 minus 0 0.98 so it's 8.82 i think i'm just doing that very quickly and casually in my head but the point is that's the maximum friction yeah, but it's not going to be at 8.82 newtons when you push on it in that direction with 1.1 uh, 1 newton. And that's because that wouldn't make any sense. That would suggest you push it in that direction. And it goes in that direction. So, of course, friction only takes a value sufficient to oppose the motion. Yeah, and then it eventually gets overcome when you reach the maximum. So that's why F is actually less than or equal to mu R. And that's what's going to help me get that inequality in this question. You must make it clear where the inequality comes from. Anyway, let's kick things off. Lefties equal righties. So F is going to be RB. Uppies equal downies. So RA is going to be equal to MG. That's always a secret here. Now we need to get some angles here and that's why i'm going to take moments at a it also knocks out two forces so i need to do distance which is going to be a times mg cos theta equals now up here i'm going to have to resolve this force into perpendicular to the slope and as that's a theta this is also a theta therefore that's 90 minus theta and that angle there is theta and so it's you know, sometimes tricky finding the theta angles. Make sure you're good with alternate angles, basically. And so anyway, that equals 2A RB sine theta. Cool. Cross out the A, simplify it a bit. And you can see that RB is going to be equal to, and I'm going to make this RB, is going to be equal to MG Cos theta divided by sine theta is cot theta, and then you're going to have to divide it by 2. Yeah? Okay, so let's now use this fact. Yeah? Now we do need RA here. We've got RA, that's good. We need F, because F, you know, remember F and RA are linked here, so it's actually F is less than or equal to mu RA. Well, F is RB, so this equals F. Yeah? And so what we can say is MG cot theta over 2 is less than or equal to mu times by ra which is mg cancel the mgs and you get mu is greater than or equal to a half cot theta as required and there you go 
that's all there is to it. Okay, part B, what have we got here? A horizontal force of magnitude kmg is now applied to the beam at A. This force acts in a direction that's perpendicular to the wall and towards the wall. Well, we're going to have to draw this diagram out again. And the big thing here is, well, all of a sudden, we've got a force, if you like, somebody kicking the ladder at the bottom with a force of kmg, yeah? Now, the weight is trying to take it you know, if you like, to the left, but this force, surely this force is kicking it towards the la you know, towards the wall, and so you need friction now going in the opposite direction, yeah? That's definitely going to trip some people up. I've never seen another question, actually, with a ladder problem, where the ladder's about to go, you know, towards the wall, and it's just because they're applying a force there, which is going to push it towards the wall. It does depend, actually, um, on, on various things, but it seems here, like... Uh, as that's a contact force, that's not really pushing it away from the wall when it's doing it at the top anyway. And this is acting halfway. So if we've got a force kicking it towards the wall, we need to put friction in the other direction. OK, so that's, yeah, that's the first subtle bit. This force acts in a direction. Yep. Yeah, OK, given tan theta is five quarters, we know tan theta is five quarters. Lovely. Um, and if tan theta is five quarters, we probably know sine theta and cos theta because what we have to do is just draw a little diagram. Theta, tan is opposite over adjacent. And so therefore that's going to be root of 25 plus 16. So it's going to be root 41. And therefore sine theta is five over root 41. Um, might come in handy and cos theta is four over root 41. It's nice to have those to hand. Okay, cool. Um, now, we know mu is a half here as well. Use a model to find the value of k. Okay, so let's do the same thing as before. Left E's equal right E's, up E equals down E's. So RA is mg. That's the up E's equal down E's. And lefty right E's, we're going to have FA plus RB equals kmg. So FA plus RB equals kmg yeah now we always have to take moments somewhere we've done the lefty righties uppy downies um and so let's take moments at a again now taking moments a again we should have exactly the same equation i think uh you know amg cos theta equals 2a rb sine theta So let's write that down. And so cross out the A's. Um, we're going to be able to find that mg over 2 cot theta is RB. But remember that as tan theta is 5 quarters, cot theta is going to be the reciprocal of that, 4 fifths. So you've got mg over 2 times by 4 fifths. Let's cancel that down. Do your cancelling. 2mg over 5 is Rb. Cool. Yeah. Now, really, as we've got to find the value of k, we want to just plug as much of this in as we can. Remember, now, it's now in limiting equilibrium. So we can say that Fa is mu Ra. Yeah. And so Fa is going to be a half of Ra, which is mg. So Fa is mg over 2. Cool. OK, we can now start plugging these in. mg over 2 plus 2mg over 5 equals kmg. The mg's cancel because they're throughout. And that's uh, g over 2, sorry, a half plus 0.4. So k is 0.9. And we're done. OK, hope that was useful and you enjoyed the video. Uh, best of luck with these questions. Keep plugging away at them. Yeah, they don't have to be as bad as they initially appear. That's what I'd say. Do plenty of questions. Where are you going to find plenty of questions from? The old M2 papers. They've got loads in there. Loads and loads and loads. OK, keep up the hard work. Bye bye.